Oh. All right, YouTubers, what's going on? East New York's finest host about Mike. I am extremely exhausted, man. I uh, bust my butt yesterday, uh, you know, cleaned out a storage unit, and it took me over six hours. While I was doing so, the dingbat heifer inside the facility, she called me on Thursday to confirm and tell me that I won the unit and uh, when I was going to pick the unit up. I told her Friday, being yesterday, I would come in and pick it up. And so as I'm going through the unit, I'm looking at other units to buy and I could not bid on any units because my account was suspended. I was... I, I couldn't understand why. I'm like, wait a minute. I only won two storage units and I couldn't even bid on the other storage units. I won it because this dumb bitch forgot. <laughs> she forgot to call them up. And, you know, so I went to the office and she's sitting there with a fucking stupid look in her ugly ass face. So I wanted to smack this bitch with a chair because I'm on the phone with, with, with the storage place, with, with, you know, with the online people. And they're like, well, no, well, she, she told us this yesterday. And I'm like, well, how can she tell you this yesterday when I spoke to them yesterday and told them I was coming today to pick the unit up? And on top of that, I'm here at the, I'm here at the facility now picking up my unit. So do you know, and you know, her and her little gay gorilla fucking friend or worker, you know, you could tell they went through the unit and took what the fuck they wanted. Because most, like I said, about 90 something percent and higher still still out these fucking storage facilities anyway so outside of that um yesterday on the way driving back she texts me was it yesterday yeah so she texts me and tells me oh um can you come back i i i gave you a, a i gave you 100 too much and i said no you didn't you gave me a hundred dollar bill because what happened was early in the morning this bitch i gave her you know, she told me my room cost four hundred and thirty something dollars with the taxes, because she asked me if it was our taxes in, and I said not anymore. So I went to give her uh, five five hundred dollar bills. I came with only eleven one hundred dollar bills. That that being eleven hundred dollars, and I had a twenty, a ten, and I think about five or six singles on me. And I always walk around with this little cash purse. I mean, this little change purse that you you know put a whole bunch of change in and you snap it closed so you. You know, the change would be in there and not loose in your pocket. So I gave her exact change, you know, 430 whatever dollars and so-and-so cents. Because she said, oh, it's early in the morning, I don't have change. So, because I had my wallet and, all, and, mo and other money out. So I was getting ready to hand her another 100 And I said, hold up, I think I may have change. So I went in my pocket, I gave her a 20 or 10, the singles and the, and the, and the coin change. And instead of her giving me that $100 back, because I gave her five $500 bills, she must have got fucked up in her stupid ass head and forgot because the dumb bitch turned around and as I'm leaving, I mean, you know, as I left already, she texts me, you know, telling me that, oh, well, I gave you an extra 100 She did not give me an extra 100 Anyhow, that's the issue I'm having. Now she's basically threatening me, telling me that uh, she's going to, you know, call her manager and she's going to call storage treasures or, or whatever the fuck it is. And I'm like, how can you do that? Like, I cleaned the unit out. You didn't give me no extra money. It's he say, she say to my, oh, well, I'm looking at the video. Well, your video, well, you're either lying or whatever. Anyway, it's just a whole fucking mess. This bitch was trying to get me. I don't even know this bitch. And she was trying to get me banned. I don't even know why. Like, you know, like, I mean, you know, you called me on Thursday, the same day you called him and tell him that I didn't respond. Then, then if that's not funny, you know, I told you I was coming Friday to clean the unit out. I'm near Friday and they closed my, I mean, and they suspend my account. They had to reopen the fucking thing because this stupid bitch fucked up. So if you can make a fucking mistake like that, how the hell can you not make a mistake? Because I know exactly what I gave this ugly bitch. But anyhow, enough for that, man. It's just like, yo, these places are getting retarded. I'm already banned from storage auctions because somebody, and I've been dealing with these guys since they started. You know, and somebody over in the Baisley, um, one of the Baisley uh, storage places fucked up my account, got my account fucked up because they fucked up. So it's just like, you know, storage treasures and storage auctions are no different than eBay. The only difference between eBay and them is the fact that they're, they're you know what I'm saying, they're not there for the buyers. They're there for the, for the sellers, unlike eBay. But, you know, both of these companies, I just can't wait for another company to come out a little better than them and get a lot of good storage rooms 
And I'm going to start dealing with them. And I'm going to put my middle finger up to both these other fucking companies. But anyhow, enough of me ranting about that. That's just my day. And on top of that, you know, it just, it, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I'm basically on not even fumes. I'm on vapors. So it's, it's not the same thing. Yeah, anyway. So it's, it's basically about one in the morning. And I, I got to go take a shower and get, you know, get at least two, two and a half hours of sleep to get ready to go to the, uh, to Columbus, which I may not even go. I'm so fucking tired. I may just decide to sit this weekend out. But anyway, this dude named, uh, oh, great. I'm so tired. I can't remember his name now. Um, AJ, a kid named AJ. He's in business with another dude. I think the other guy's name is AJ as well. Um, they have a comic store. Uh, I can't, I don't know exactly where it is, but it's funny. I'm the first to admit when I'm wrong. And, you know, I'm a human being, you know, I, I, I'm real good with my feelings and shit. And normally, you know, normally I do have a real good projection of somebody just being a piece of shit. And it's funny because I really didn't like this kid at first. And I really didn't have no valid reason other than the fact that it was just something about him that kind of threw me off for, for a while. But he's actually a cool guy. And not even just the fact that I brought stuff. He gave me a good deal and we did trade. But we've done business and we spoke a lot. Um, and I'm like, you know what I have, you know, I have my opinion wrong about this kid. And I'm not just saying that because he gave me a good deal on this stuff. I'm just basically saying that that's why we started talking a lot more because we spoke before, but I think he, anyway, I'm not going to go into those details, but he's actually, he's a good dude. You know, some, you know, everybody can make mistakes. I am a human being, you know, I very rarely, you know, um, a very apologetic about, you know, my feelings because I'm normally always a hundred with them and I, I stand by them. But in this case, you know, he's actually a good dude. But anyhow, we did a trade. Uh, he took some stuff I had and cash, and I wound up getting this nice bin. My boy, Heck, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to Hector because he told me that uh, I missed out on this kid named Carlos. Well, you know, Carlos could have told me, but whatever. He had a figure that he wound up selling for a decent price that's supposed to be, it was a Magneto that was equivalent to a hot toy. And somebody gave him, I think, $1.90 or something like that for from what he from what he said. But anyway... You know, so Hector told me about that, and he told me about this. And when I realized who was selling, I was like, "Okay, cool. I'll, I'll probably get a good. I'll probably definitely get a good deal on it." And it was a bin, and all this stuff was in the bin. Um, this buzz off, this heat, um, battle was it battle damage heat man Rambo. Yo, uh, this skit, this air skiff is just parts. You got this um, thunder machine. You got the um, Cobra Stun. Then you got this box um, stuff. That's why I brought it. He said, oh, you know, um, hey, yo, check it out. Somebody got a bin of G.I. Joe um, stuff over there. So I hear G.I. Joe. I'm, 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 bing, my radar is up. And he's like, yeah, it's just empty boxes, but he's selling it. He's asking so-and-so for it. And I'm like, well, let me go see what box, you know, let me go see, you know, what boxes they are. But it was a lot more than boxes. It was vehicle parts and stuff like that. I mean, it's not like, holy crap, yay, but... I came very little out my pocket because, you know, he took some stuff and trade with my cash. So, you know, it worked out good for him and it worked out good for me. So we both we both were happy with it. And um, yeah, um, so I'm going to show you guys this. Obviously, you guys been hearing me rant for almost 10 minutes now. So I might as well <laughs> stay here. Right. So, again, I just told you I got buzz off. I think his uh, buzz off. What's the call is there? Rambo's. Um, bazooka is here i think he got a knife and something else uh, some guns and stuff as well so you got rambo buzz off you got he man and the bastards of the universe again i told you the air skiff is basically parts um thunder machine the stun this lady j um card back dr mindbender's card back yes sir bobs I was gonna take some stuff tomorrow to the market and, and sell to some guys I know, but I'll wait till next week. I'm I'm tired. Uh, we got this. Um, I, I gotta try to figure out a way to fix this box. Anybody have any ideas? Please let me know how I can straighten it out so I can flatten it and reglue. Well, regluing it is easy. It's just you know keeping it flat. And then you got Zanzibar's um, air skiff. We got the Cobra Adder box. See, this is how I want that uh, the air skiff box to be. Then we got the slam. Da, da, da. Let the boys be boys. I said slam. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Let the boys be boys. Let me let me let me know if anybody um know where that's from. That's straight gangster 1990s. New York style, baby. Anyway, 
So it stands for Strategic Long Range Artillery Machine. SLAM. There you go. Nice abbreviation. Then we got the Warthog. Um, this box is a little... Yeah. But what is it? Whatever. I go crazy for G.I. Joe stuff. Boxes don't bother me because I like the artwork. Yeah, the artwork. Then we have here this Double Fish. I don't think it will be a good idea for me to try to take this off because this thing probably been sitting for years. I don't know why this person just didn't use clear tape. It might not come off too good or too bad. Most of the time, it's a lot more. It's not this lively. Normally, it's like really hard. But yeah. So anyway, it's the double fishes box. So you got wetsuit and beachhead on this. We got um, spearhead. Oh my god! Hit and run, I think. Lightfoot, repeater, hardball, and the Sarge himself. And obviously on here we got Crazy Legs and Outback. My favorite Joe, Outback. And of course here we got Roll Pig. I never understood why they called the Cobra Adder and they got a Dreadnought pilot in it. And of course, Zanzibar. And then here you got the Cobra Buzzbor. Yeah, it's empty, right? I was just about to get excited. Yay, something's in here. So you got the Cobra Buzzbor with a, a Cobra Viper in it. And then here you have parts of the Cobra Adder here. We got parts of the Cobra Landing. I forgot his name. We got Sardis Slaughter from the Warthog here. I think this is a guy from Mama Mass Mass Mas Crusaders. Da -da 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 -da, da -da 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 Secret Raiders. And we got Dr. Mindbender. You got him in parts. This is uh this is the uh the Dolph Mall edition. And we got a part of the Cobra Stun. No, what's his name? Uh, Mo Motor Viper. Motor Viper. No legs. We got his uh, helmet here. Then we got all these pamphlets. Yeah, I like pamphlets. This is not G.I. Joe. We got the Sergeant Slaughter. Mel away and you get Sergeant Slaughter. We got some more pamphlets. Yo, Joe. Yeah, Joe. Yo, Joe. Whole bunch of them. And we got some instructions. Uh, look like we have instructions for the double fish and the cobra adder. The cobra adder. And we got here the double fish with one busted foot peg right here. So it only fit one guy on the other side. And we got a cobra buzz bore right here. Alrighty then. Moving on. So in here we got uh, some part of Castle Grey Skull. I think that's like the sorceress's chair. And we got this. Uh, is this GI Joe or just some random crappy ass uh, Fisher Price? Random crappy ass uh, walkie-talkie. We got oh, hold up a second. This is somebody's uh, crotch. Whose crotch is this? Whose crotch is this? The world is mine. Oh, Motor Viper. Motor Viper's crotch. And we got Toll Booth here in pieces. And we got parts of the Thunder Machine here. The Thunder Machine here. We got John Rambo's. I think this is for Rambo. Rambo. Definitely buzz off. He man. Another pamphlet. Off the top of my head, I do not know what this goes to, but it doesn't go to none of these vehicles. I know this is definitely uh, the missile for the Warthog. This is the engine piece for the air skiff. This is. 
the ant no I don't this is an antenna but I can't I don't know what's for and this is a Cobra landing piece we got Zanzibar's uh, missile here persuader missile two of them Some Cobra stun hub, hub caps got a double fish engine cover this is the top to I forgot what GI Joe vehicle this goes to something I can't think of right now I think these go to the bridge layer I believe and we got this I forgot what this goes to but there's two of them well, this blue one goes whatever it goes somewhere this gray one I'm not too sure off the top of my head I think this is oh this is He-Man I almost said Star Wars I could hear the people now cursing me out you bum ass don't know nothing you know let me put this over man, I'm already here so we got some more persuader parts so they, he probably, I mean, you know, these guys probably have more shit and they just, you know, they probably have more stuff and they sold the rest of it off. I don't know. I don't know what these go to, but I'm going to take a wild gander here and say it's not, yeah, it's not toy related. Another Cobra hubcap. Buzz off's uh, helmet piece. Uh, I'm not too sure what this goes to, but these are to the buzz bore. I know I need some for mine. Here is another helmet for buzz off. And I think this is for the double fish. This is, I think He Man as well. I don't know, I think this is also He Man, like a staff. I don't know what these red knives are for. That's Lego. These are more G.I. Joe crap. Whatever this was broke off. Probably He-Man related. These are some more missiles. This is Rambo's knife. Another buzz bore missile. Don't know what this goes to off the top of my head. Don't know what that goes to off the top of my head. I know this is to the uh whatever you call that shit. These are wheels for something. So these are all uh missile parts. A cockpit for something I don't have. I mean, you know, they probably sold some shit. Somebody probably brought some stuff and they just decided to sell the rest. I don't know. But you know, thanks to uh Hector, I would have never got this stuff. That's mine been this little engine thing. No gun. I don't know what the hell that goes to. This is... Ah, this looks so familiar. Oh, the Cobra landing. Got another cockpit for something. This is something G.I. Joe related. G.I. Joe rope walker. Rope walker. This is a Cobra landing. Um, or... What that goes to, but it's GI Joe. I think that's definitely GI Joe. That's not GI Joe. It might be. I don't know. Some more missile. I think that's Shira's sword. So I'm gonna take a wild gander here and say that he had more stuff that he probably sold. Unfortunately, not saying that's true, but not saying it's not. Cause all this oh shit all this stuff did fall and Isaiah probably put the stuff in something else but he did have the other uh the other little container because I was you know I just don't know what he, he I don't know where he put it this kid when he you know when he's thinking about his computer and shit he don't think about nothing else and yeah 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 y'all yeah, know what I'm talking about for anybody out there who got kids and these kids not only make you want to break their fucking neck but it is all over the fucking place. Anyway, I'm exhausted. I got to get ready to get some sleep. But this is the stuff. Um, I could tell you guys what I paid for. I mean, what he was asking for it. 
Some of y'all might think, oh man, that's that's too much. Yeah, whatever. I'm an East Coast guy, you know, um, you know, up north or obviously up north is up. So north north uh what the fuck I was gonna say. So basically north uh east coast is shit is expensive here. And you know, the more closer you are to New York, the more shit's gonna cost. So I'm used to paying decent to high end prices for stuff compared to what some people in, you know, Midwest and Shit like that will pay for something. Not saying that, you know, you guys get shit cheap. I'm just saying that, you know, I'm used to New York prices, so. But, you know, I mean, you know what? Nah, it don't make no sense. I'm not going to sit there and say what I paid for it because it's nobody's business. You know, like I said, when I'm cool with people, I, I kind of keep, I like to kind of keep that stuff secret because, again, that's, it's a gentleman's handshake. So, that's that. This, this guy had a couple of weeks ago. And I regret not picking up the four of these eagle. I was I always keep about the I always about to call them eagle moss. These eagle force. Um, see how eagle moss and eagle force sound sound almost alike. So this guy he wanted ten bucks a piece for him. Nobody brought him. Um, then you know especially this one and this one they're in great shape. These two not in the best as far as like old you know what I'm saying. But you know these are these are his old figures. You know, he said, oh, I had these as a kid. These are mine. And, you know, he did tell me that a couple weeks ago. So I know his story is definitely consistent. So he gave me a good price on these. I don't know him. So I'm just going to basically say I paid $15 for the four of them. 15 is a lot better than <laughs> than 40 That's for sure. Um. So, yeah, that was that's basically all I got today as far as that. Now, the unit I, uh, unit I picked up when me and Isaiah went to the flea market two Saturdays ago um I had to pick up a unit um in orange and that unit in orange was uh it was a tough I mean it was it was it was very very tiring but you know either way you look at it and actually it was I, whatever so that unit did have video game stuff in it um but I think the, the other video game this stuff that I had I think I got out of the unit yesterday yeah you know what I'm saying? So I got like a Game Boy Advance SP, a red one, not in the best condition, but hopefully it works. Two Pokemon games, a whole bunch of other stuff. And I sold all that stuff off to my boy Tony. Uh, we did a, 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 you know, I also got two laptops out of there and four laptops out of another unit that I got a couple of weeks ago. And one out of, no, two out of for work the other two were definitely old and obsolete and even if they did work i probably would have donated them but i threw them away because they didn't you know they just were no good um and i didn't even have power adapters but i know they didn't work because when you put the light near the screen you could see the cracks and shit like that so and like i said they were definitely 15 or more years obsolete so no good so outside of that i uh you know i, I put that in the deal some other stuff you know and uh you know we, we made it we made a deal um so out of that unit the only thing I kept you know was this this was actually in there and somebody did offer me fifty dollars for it but I'm like dude that's this thing goes for over a hundred dollars I'm not selling Marvel versus Capcom 2 for no system for no fucking fifty dollars I hate to say but why so many Asian people are cheap like some of y'all might say oh that's kind of fucked up yo dude I call shit for what it is like, especially Koreans and Filipinos. Very fucking cheap, man. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Anyway, I'm thinking he... I don't know, whatever. But real cheap guy. He looked at it. The game is in really good condition. It's got the manual and everything. He said, like, would you take 50? Oh, why don't I take 50 so you can make $100 on top? Get the fuck out of here, man. And I hate when people say, oh, yeah, but I'm trying to make money too. Motherfucker, what do you think I'm out here doing? I told him just like that. Same, but he thought I, I meant it as a joke. I didn't mean it as a joke. I, you know, I meant to say, motherfucker, like, what, like, like, motherfucker, are you out of your mind? Like, I know some people say, oh, yeah, like, oh, it's just terrible. But anyway, kept that. And then the, the other unit I brought that I had to go to New York and pick up. So, after, you know, me and Isaiah, we left in Fleet Market early. And I went to Elizabeth, dropped off, dropped off another. It's ironic because I dropped off close to 70 or 75 percent of, of, of uh, what was left. And they, they were very happy to take everything. And I was happy that they took everything. Then from there, since Elizabeth is so close to Staten Island in Brooklyn, you know, we was actually we was actually in front of the storage place because they closed today at 4. So we was actually in front of the place. 
in like 25 minutes. So we we literally just made the time to clean out this unit. Older lady, I mean, I don't know how old she was, but the guy said that she finally gave up. She passed away. Some shit about her being sick with cancer. I did feel bad. I always feel eerie and bad when I buy units for people who pass away because I just feel a certain, I already feel a certain way when I buy somebody else's unit anyway. I've always been like that. But, you know, no matter how good it is or how crappy it is, I always feel a little guilty. But, you know, when you find a person passed away and it's like, damn, like they like they worldly they worldly possessions was in this little ass space and they long they no longer here. Life goes on. And now you're basically taking their worldly possessions like it just feels so fucking weird to do that, you know, and I just felt bad the whole day. Um, She did have a lot of jewelry, costume jewelry, some colognes, perfumes and shit like that. Um, She has um probably about four or five pounds of silver another two two and a half pounds of gold i i really gotta really test everything but the unit just on that stuff the unit was worth it and then she has like a lot of clothes and just like a lot of shit that i can make money on so it was definitely a score um and it's just randomly ironic how this was actually in her unit this like ironically this was just in her i was like what how random is that look at the condition of this like really really nice condition so she definitely liked game boy and she liked tetris the only game she had so maybe 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 i'll find more games um what you know as i'm as people going through the units i mean going through the stuff when i go to the market next time i don't know but i just find that ironic so yep i want up you know as usual i want up talking a lot longer than i anticipated to but um tomorrow i'll probably go through this shit more thoroughly um like I said, I could just, you know, get stuff together and just take it to, uh, and get rid of it to Matt and Jerry, because I do have some other stuff too, but I'm a hold off, because I'm still contemplating on this stuff here, but yeah, I'm a hold off, because I have all four Turtles, Rocksteady, Bebop, Splinter, and Shredder with all their weapons, so I'm contemplating on what I'm going to do with that. Um... All the other figures, I don't really need them. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll just get stuff together and just sell all of it. But, eh, I should. I might just sit down here for a minute and go through the stuff again. So, I might. You know what I'm saying? You never know. I might just sell all of it. Or I might just keep the ones that are that are complete and then sell off the other shit. Because I got all this stuff from Carlos a couple of weeks ago as well. So, anyway, hope you guys like. Please like, sub, share, and subscribe. Catch you guys later. Peace.